It looks like we have a winner. A station omnibus driven by Ely Watts, commonly called the Six Penny Cage, was used to bring passengers from the train station up to here, the town centre. Annually, the landlords of the George Hotel and the Red Lion, where we are now, would play dominoes to see who would get first stop of the coach. Here we are in the George Hotel. The George Hotel is one of the largest inns used for horses and carriages stopping in the town. The roads coming to and from Krukham were maintained by the local Turnpike Trust. The trust was set up in the 18th century to maintain the local roads and collect tolls from the people who use them. Is that parrot? To Stokes and Pound. Listerton and to Roundham. Crewcrun to Clapton Bridge. Crewcrun to Lopen Head. Crewcrun to Hinton St George Road. To Roundham. Hazelberry Plug here to Coombs Islands. Farrington Lane to Marriott. Misterton to North Perra. Hinton Lane to Hinton Cross. Here we are in the Swan Hotel, one of the oldest establishments in Crewcrun. In its heyday it used to stretch right around the corner into Market Square. This pub has one of the oldest surviving stables in the town. When the postal stage first arrived in Crookham, it was the only place where people could bring their mail to be collected, and one of its main claims to fame was the first ever penny black was sent from here. The postal stage used to go to take the old A30 route from London to Exeter. The advent of the trade in Crookham, and the fact that it carried the post, eventually killed off the stagecoaches and inns within the town. century and the car is becoming a common sight on the streets of the town. Roads have developed to take the increased transport and horse troughs have been replaced by pedestrian crossings. Trips once dependent upon the train have now become much easier. A visit to the seaside or the pictures for instance. Public transport has also developed including the first bus to run from Kukern to Yeovil in 1925 when the speed limit is 20 miles per hour. Swaffields, a local automotive repair shop set up in the 1920s to service Kukern's cars, along with Miller's Garage further up East Street, still operates today. And the emergency services are now able to use motorised vehicles to attend emergencies with greater speed and efficiency. Fire engines and motorised ambulances come into service, and our boys in blue are now able to respond quickly to the activities of the criminal element. 